If you like action and adventure, you don't mind a bit of a challenge, and you're willing to take a path less traveled by others. In other words, you're willing to go on journeys where no one else has gone before um, and to see what happens and to have that courageous spirit, then you might be a wood element person. I'm Murray Hopkinson, I'm a Chinese medicine practitioner, an acupuncturist and a herbalist. And today we're gonna to be talking about the wood element type of personality or psyche type, um, if you like, the constitution of a wood element person. And this is part of a series, so if you're new to the channel, then don't forget one, most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like this content, um, like the video, that really helps other people to see that it's valuable. If it's valuable to you, then it might be valuable to others, and YouTube's likely to let other people know. I mean, that's how it works. <laughs> um, and also, if you're new to this series, there's a little intro. It's just a one and a half minute video. And then there's also some others on this in this series and they'll all be in the playlist. So welcome aboard. We're going to talk about the wood element type today. Now, this is one type or style of Chinese medicine, right? So um, this is very popular in the five element um, acupuncture style. Very prominent. It's actually the key part of how they practice. Um, but it also can be useful just to know about yourself. So if you're into personality types, you like the Myers-Briggs types of personality tests. So if you're into personality types, um, you might be just interested in this as well. And so we're going to go through what kind of characteristics, what kind of nature, what type of people have a, a wood element type. The first thing to remember, if you've been on this channel before, you might have seen some videos where we talked about liver cheese stagnation and the wood element. And so if you are that type, then I'd encourage you to check out those videos because it'll kind of make more sense to you as a person. And I've talked about creativity in the wood element, things like coffee and um, liver cheese stagnation or alcohol, those kinds of things. Um, the, the nature of wood, right? Now, wood is um, synonymous with wind in the Neijing. So every time they mention wind, it could be wood or wood could be wind. What that means is the nature of wood has the power of wind, right? The nature of wood is to be forceful as the wind, right? So the wind can be quite forceful, but it can also be quite pleasant as well. The wind can seem to cool you down. The wind can be a pleasant change. And the wind is about movement. So the wood elements types of people are a force to be reckoned with sometimes. And if it gets out of balance, that's what can happen. They can be tyrannical type of a force to be reckoned with type of person. Um, but that's the power of a wood element person, right? So all of these elemental types, we need them in society for different things. We need them, like, if you're not this type of person, you might have a partner that's this type of person, or you might have a friend and you want to understand them better. It can help people find their role in society and to think what kind of jobs would suit you best or what kind of ways can you really get the best out of these kinds of people like um, if you maybe you have them in your workplace or in your in your um, you know if you're watching this in your practitioner maybe in your clinic or something like that um, well a wood element person is probably gonna want to be the boss <laughs> of the of the of the place right they're, they're more likely to be an adventure seeking person um, they are more likely to not be scared of those things right so they have that courage and they they have that ability to kind of do that the wood element relates to the liver but it also relates to the gallbladder and in TCM the gallbladder is like um, linked to decision making and that idea of like you've got gall right you've got guts you've got um, that fortitude and so a, a strong person who's in the wood uh, a wood element type of constitution person who's a healthy wood element would be able to have a clear cut decision making. In other words, they know their life direction, they know their life purpose, they know what they want to do, um, that's not a surprise to them or some kind of like mystery or something they're still figuring out. Like things can change over time. And what we're going to talk about in this video is um, what happens to a person who's meant to be a wood element, who is a wood element person in their constitution and what happens when that gets out of balance and what kind of things can happen. Because you can have a wood element person that does lose their purpose and that can be extremely discombobulating for them rather than other types who wouldn't necessarily have to rely on that as much to you know be who they are so the nature of wood is like this movement and it can be also this subtle spreading but it also can be the the strong movement that provides the movement for a shoot to come out of the ground let's say um, so the nature of wood is green in Chinese medicine the wood element is linked to um, or so the wood wood is linked to green color not to brown and why is that because it's representative of um, growth, right? Wood that's growing is not like some old stick. It's a green stick that's also flexible. And that's represented by the five elements, flow, water, precedes wood. 
and water nourishes wood. So if you want to grow a plant, right, the best time for that plant to grow usually is springtime. And it's the same for a wood element person. Like they get their best out of themselves. They're going to have their best time in spring, right? It's almost like as if all these ideas and things that they've been thinking of all year can kind of emerge into some way. So if you are a wood element type and you are going to start a new business or you're going to do something significant in your life, the springtime is a good time to do it. If you can plan it like that, then that's a, you're going to have the momentum of the season kind of going with you in that way. Um, I've talked about other on other videos about spring, just about that. And so if you're a wood type, that's even more important to you um, and even it'll make more sense to you, right? Um, so wood types can also be quite competitive type of people. They can like, um, they don't mind a challenge. They wouldn't shy away from a challenge, right? And so they can be a little bit competitive um, types of people. Um, they're known for adventurous, adventure into the unknown. Um, they don't mind that battle of adversity, right? Especially if you're going to bring forth a new idea or a new concept. Um, I guess the wood type comes with the package, <laughs> the backpack of wood, is that if you're going to travel the paths less traveled or not traveled by others, then you would have to have that ability to battle the adversity, right? And to um, you know, so they can sometimes be that seen as that hero person, not necessarily every wood person's a hero person, but in those um, Jungian archetypal images, they can be like that. And certainly the archetypal name for a wood element is usually associated with a pioneer, right? So pioneers are known for that ability to battle adversity, you know, to put up with harsh conditions while they are establishing a new colony or something like that in a new world or a new place. Um, now we don't really have those in that way now because all of the places on earth are kind of known, but you also have people like, um, let's say Elon Musk. Now I'm not sure if he's a wood element type, but he seems like he could be a water or a wood element type because in order to kind of do what you've got to do, you need some elements, some aspects of, of wood to, to, be, to do stuff like what Elon Musk has done. But you can also see he's very methodical in his approach and very disciplined. And that's more of a water type, so you might have heard me talk about those things before. Um, but certainly a person who, who doesn't mind mapping out the unknown. So the, there is some method to the madness. It's not like this person's a nutty professor. You know? <laughs> they just um, they have that courage that goes along with it, right? Um, they tend to be adaptive, right? Now, the, the wood um, nature is flexible. When it's nourished by water, it has that flexible nature. And so this person would have the tenacity and the balls, let's say, to go and do things, but they also have a flexibility and adaptability. So it's not like when things don't go to plan, they collapse in a heap. They have the ability and that probably resilience is a good word to put with this, um, that kind of thing. Um, so they can be fiercely independent people as well um, and very um, headstrong type of people. So in their un uh, pathological nature, non pathological nature in their in their true nature, a wood element person is a confident, assertive person. Um, they're bold, they're ambitious, um, they're competitive, powerful, and direct. Right? They'll say it how it is and cut cut to the chase kind of thing. Um, they can seem very commanding and fairly decisive people. Right? They know what they want and they'll they'll be articulate in that being able to tell you that, um, or at least know it for themselves. Right now. In a pathology, this is where a person can have too much wood, or let's say in the five element phases, like the, if water doesn't nourish wood, for instance, then wood t doesn't have that bending and flexing, it has a bending and snapping, right? And so it can be, there's too much wood and not enough water, or um, it's not controlled by metal or something like that, um, and which is within the five elements. So if you're a practitioner watching this, you probably understand what I'm saying, but if you're a student or a a regular regular Joe, a regular person, don't worry too much about that bit. Um, so a person can become, like, instead of being confident, they can seem to be arrogant, right? So a person could be perceived um, as, or they could be an arrogant person, right? They could be perceived as arrogant, but they could be, or they, sometimes a wood element people might be misunderstood as arrogant, right? What they think is confidence in order to function well in society, if they don't tame it back a little bit or, um, learn how to work well with others type of thing they might become come across as arrogant um, and and also aggressive um, and in a unfettered wood could also be very reckless right because they have the balls and the guts and the determination and the ability to kind of do these things and they might do things that are reckless in the name of um, let's just give it a go right um, they probably lack 
um, the methodical approaches that other elements have in favour of um, you know let's just give it a try and um, we'll be flexible and we'll, we'll you know they might be able to do things on the fly a little bit more than um, other other elemental types. Um, they can also be uh, a difficult person to work with I guess because they can seem like a, an antagonist to the situation instead of being competitive um, they can like just be angsty type of people um, or like um, you see a lot of not not all CEOs and business owners are wood element types but lots of people in that field are wood element types because it takes it just certainly takes some wood to, to do like the nature of wood to, to do those jobs right and to pierce through um, you know especially like as a pioneer right to do something new and to go on that path less traveled and all those sort of things to take those risks so they have the ability to take a risk um, and they don't mind doing that and they understand that risk and reward situation right so um, in that space you often see people with competitive and they're just like, no, I need to dominate everybody and I don't, I'm not going to compete with people, I'm just going to dominate everybody. And that, in some ways, in some parts of business, you do need that spirit to, to be able to function. <laughs> um, but there's, that could be to the detriment in a wood person, it could mean that they ruin some relationships or that they um, you know, are so driven in their tasks and so driven in their um, pursuit of their goals that other things that might bring them happiness and joy in life might be um, discarded and they might not even realize that they've discarded those things is what I'm getting at. So they might have discarded things that like people in their life that could be bring good relationships to them um, and in favor of pursuing their goals and then look back in 10 years time and go, well, I'm just alone now or my, my, my husband has left me or my wife has left me and my kids don't hate me and I've never spent any time with them, that kind of thing. So this is in an exaggerated sense. I'm not saying all the element types are kind of like this, but if it get if it's left uncontrolled, and the reason why this is good to know if you are a wood element type is, like these are things you can work on. You can say, hey, I need to make sure that I don't like let myself just go in that way because then the, the, that that could be the detriment of that. Um, so whilst a wood element person is usually a direct person, they can seem too confrontational to people. Um, they can seem like um, that, if, especially if they are antagonistic and they are stirring up for the sake of stirring up, then um, it can be hard to work with people like this. And they, that's why they often become the tyrant or the, um, the dictator leader type of person who would um, just sort of bark the orders down and everyone pay attention. You know, do you do what I say? Um, don't, don't, um, don't question what I, what I, you know, just don't question the orders. Just I'm not going to explain anything to you. They're not necessarily... They probably wouldn't be known as a people person, right? And it doesn't mean that they don't care about people. It doesn't mean that they don't have relationships and they value those relationships, but they're certainly not a charismatic... Um, it's, that would probably be something they'd have to work on, those charismatic things, if they were in this exaggerated state of it, right? Um, and can be seen as impulsive, right? So they might have thought it through, but the, the thinking it through might be very quick for them. And so because they have no fear or less fear than other types um, and the ability to take a risk, it might seem like that person's impulsive and they're just doing, you know, doing things on a whim. All right. Now, if it also gets, um, if a wood element, if a person's supposed to be a wood element, but they then lack, the, they lack their basic functions or they're lacking what they need, um, then they will also become in disharmony as well. And so we can think of this as like a collapsed type of wood. So it's not, um, it's a deficient type, let's say. Um, and so instead of being confident, they might be a bit pretentious, like, um, oh, you know it all. And people think, oh, yeah, you just know it all. You're not willing to listen to other people. And, you know, kind of a kind of ar arrogance, but a little bit different. Um, they can seem erratic, right? Like going from one thing to another, like because they've got the, the confidence and the um, <laughs> they're a doer, right? They're a, they're an action person. Um, they they if they start just doing lots of lots of things, it can seem very it can be a very unproductive kind of person in that way. So they might be very busy, but are they getting anything done, right? So they might need structures and processes in that way to ensure that they direct that wood energy into something productive rather than just going oh i'm going to act on this i'm going to act on that i'm going to act on that i'm going to act on that right um and and then it could be they can be ineffectual like they're just not getting anything done or not being productive in in life and that can lead to a state of unhappiness because they feel like oh wow i'm so busy but what have i got to show for it like am i actually um, am i achieving my goals and things like that right 
which would be very important to these types of people. Their goals would be important to them. Um, instead of being direct, um, this person could seem like devious. They could seem like, yeah, they're not, um, uh, yeah, then they're, that their intentions might not be for a good cause. Um, yeah. They can seem fickle and ambivalent. So there are generally in a, in a well state, in a good state, a uh, wood type person is very committed, right? So this is good because they'll commit to their goals and they'll do, do, do the thing that they want to do. But in an unhealthy state, um, if there's too much wood going on, then they could be compulsive, right? Like I have to do this, I have to do that. Um, and they've set these things for them, but they haven't had the time to sort of measure, is that still a good thing to be doing? Is that still leading me on track with my goals? People are inspired by my manic busyness. They love how I take all the time I do to broadcast how busy I am on social media. Um, and it could, in a, this could be a person with OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, um, where they feel a compulsion to do something, or it could just be a compulsion, kind of compulsive type of behavior. I'm not saying they have OCD, right? We're not saying they have a psychiatric disorder. Um, although that could be within this type. If a person was a wood type and they had OCD, then it would certainly be exaggerated in that way, right? But um, like it comes down to like they've got all this power, all this um, uh, uh, energy to kind of do things, but then where are they putting that energy, right? Is it in something productive and something they want to achieve or is it in, some, in just in other things? I spend hours each day documenting my busyness for my audience. It takes that much time because that's how busy I am. <laughs> just in things. Um, and in so in a collapsed sense, a wood element person finally can also just become, instead of being decisive, they can become like ambivalent. So they will just sort of not be able to make a decision. And that would be very um, distressing to them. Like they wouldn't feel like, they'd feel, it, that's what I was talking about at the start of this video. Like a wood element person usually has a, a, a large sense of purpose or that's important to them. But if they lose that, then well, where's their place in the world now because I've lost my purpose or something has happened. So let's say you've had a business and you've run that business and the business has failed. Well, what happens then? Or you've had a marriage and you've, you've got this dream partner from, you know, you've worked your whole life together. You had a great relationship and something went wrong, you know, and you've had a divorce or you've had a separation. And then you're like, well, what do I do now? Because all my purpose and my thing was kind of wrapped up in that and now that's gone. And then that can be in, you can, could be a person could be in a state of kind of discombobulation. Now, a five element acupuncturist, what they do is they actually diagnose people in the psyche um, aspect and they work out what their main constitution is um, and how they've deviated from that and how they've gone into a pathology from that. And they actually use acupuncture to kind of help redirect the body to, in a physical sense, to kind of help them get back on track with these, like, not always. Um, physical, uh, mental, emotional symptoms. Like they can look at physical symptoms, but lots and lots of mental, emotional symptoms like this. Like a purpose a person who came in and said, "Oh, I've lost my purpose in life." If that was their main complaint, um, depending on what kind of element they were, would mean like how, you know, how to look at that, right? So, yeah, that's the collapsed uh, version of the w water. <laughs> So that's the, the lacking or the collapsed version or the deficient version of the wood element type of person. Um, in general, wood element people need to be aware because they have this power and they have this um, ability to surge like the wind um, that it can lead to a few different detriments, right? So um, they, can, they can have difficulty with restraining themselves. Um, and so they like put all that passion and all that fire power into these different things um, that may not be productive or that may be in the long term draining them or maybe you know taking up their time so that then they don't have time to give to other things that might also be important to them like family like relationships um, and that kind of stuff now I'm not saying to you know you they need to quit their business and not do not have that but um, it might be a matter of that person realizing hey these are um, these are not wastes of time these are important and I need to make these if they made them their goals they would make time for it and it wouldn't seem like a waste of a time. But because it's not their goal, then they wouldn't put any time into it. And that's what, that's what I'm kind of getting at. Um, so they can have difficulty sharing. Um, <laughs> we all know kids that can't share. 
Um, and maybe that's just that growth of that growth spurt of, of the wood nature of kids, right? Like two year olds or three year olds. They're like, you know, if you give them a toy, even if they haven't seen it for a long time, they, you bring it back out again and they, they're like, no, that's my toy. Like, don't give that away. And they don't even, um, you know, so it takes them a lot of learning to learn how to share. And maybe that's because they have so much wood to grow, right? Wood is the growth, like the growth element, um, you know, and that's that power of in um, unrestrained wood is like domination, right? No, these are, everything is mine and no one can share it, right? Um, and cooperation, like working with others, particularly because these people are fairly self-sufficient people, um, they will just work a way to get things done because of that flexibility um, and they'll kind of, you know, so they could have difficulty cooperating and working with other people in teams or in the workplace or, you know, even in the family or things like that. Um, the emotion associated with wood is anger and wood element types tend to have the variations of anger as a as a as an issue or as a problem if wood is n one if it's not nourished by water so um before you get angry you mostly get like what we would say liver chi stagnation now it's actually really gallbladder chi stagnation because your gallbladder is the yang aspect of wood um but most tcm people think of it as liver chi stagnation so it's the f it's the lack of the wood's free flow anyway so that lack of free flow leads to wood element stagnation, wood energy stagnation. And that wood energy stagnation then causes frustration, resentment, anger, Serenity now! Um, and sometimes for people like outbursts of anger, like if they're, um, you know, the road rage or like the little cartoon man with the steam coming out of the ears or the George Costanza like, no, these are my twix. <laughs> they're all twix. It was a setup. Uh, they're all Twix <laughs> or whatever, like, you know, the, the judge is getting angry. Um, and like that is a, is a, is a full, just wood out of control, right? With no, no, no water. Now, what is cooling, right? And if someone was extremely angry, I've seen people turn a hose on an angry person <laughs> before um, to kind of calm them down, right? As a, as a way to shock them, but it's also cooling because you've worked up all this heat, right? And you see this in little kids when they get into a tantrum, they just, they, they don't even know what they're angry about. They're kind of, <gasps> you know, <laughs> crying like that. It's not, it's not really funny, but like they're worked up into a frenzy. I remember going to bed sometimes when I was a kid, like just crying and crying and crying because I couldn't, you know, I didn't get my way. And mum's like, no, nope, you're gonna have sleepy time now or bedtime, <laughs> bedtime in the day, or whatever, like time out kind of thing. And like, that's, that's that unrestrained wood. The adults can get that as well, and it's worse for an adult because at least it's a two-year-old kid. You, you um, you're forgiven for that, right? It's just part of life, and you're kind of learning how to get control of your emotions. So, what I'm getting at is if that liver cheese stagnant, stagnant, or that wood element cheese stagnant, and then, um, you know, more and more of that stagnation happens, there's no outlet for it. Then it just will generate anger, and then that can that's when it can be out of control and very. Um, unrestrained right and you don't want to be a person that's causing damage to others or damage to your life like you know what if you go out and start a fight and then you you know people cause so much damage or hurt someone you know, irrevocably or end up in court or losing their house or their license of their car just because of their angriness anyway so wood element people tend to be doers they're action orientated they're very powerful people they tend to be best off in springtime and that kind of that doing of new things the things to watch out for with that wood person is of course like if that water isn't nourishing wood and they tend to get um, dry and can be get blood deficient so that whole idea of wood um, being flexible and bending like a stick that bends but when woods dry like an old dry stick it's hard and solid now you don't want to become hard and solid so how do you stop that from happening well wood element people tend to not focus enough or they, if they got to this point, they probably weren't focusing at all on the water things. So things that nourish the wood is like stillness, meditation, um, focusing. So even just having five minutes of mindfulness every day and focusing your energy rather than just standing there going, bang, what's here? Like, <laughs> especially if you're like a little wind up toy, you know, you look, you wake up and you're pulled and you're like, D -d 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 -d, let me just, whatever the direction is that, you know, takes your attention. For some wood people, they're like that. They're like, oh, shiny objects here. I'm going to go over here and follow that. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. And then the next day they wake up and they're da, 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 over, <laughs> over to this part. So a water thing that you could do if you're a wood element person like that is 
you could spend a couple of minutes every morning just thinking, what do I want to accomplish? What are my goals? Like writing down your goals. Um, what am I going to do today? What am I going to use my time for today? Those things are very productive. Having times of reflection is also, it's actually an earth element thing, but it's um, a stillness activity, right? So you finish the day, you think, what did I do today? What did I, what did I do good? What, did I, what could I improve upon? Um, you know, looking for ways that you could improve upon things that are better for your long-term um, stuff. Because wood element people, you know, they do have a sense of life planning and a sense of purpose in life. But in a detrimental sense, if they're just do-do-doing, they could probably be lost in the chaos of all that and not be focused enough on, hey, I need to kind of look for um, a life partner here because I've you know, been so busy on these things that I haven't put any time to that. Or, hey, my kid... Um, is now five years old and I haven't really spent much time with them in the last two years. So let me schedule some time for that. Let me make that a goal. That could be very beneficial for a wood element person that gets caught up in their, in their doing and doing. Um, so they sort of need to mod moderate their intensity and their flex and stay flexible. That's, that's one thing. And the other thing I want to mention is like if you think of wood in terms of the, the seasons, like wood element people can be really productive in these shortened time spans of things but it's also maybe necessary to come back and retreat and recharge so you might have the energy to kind of go for long periods of time pulling all-nighters let's say even I'm not suggesting that people do that but um, you know working intensely on a project for, for instance like so these people can be very good at projects but they have to remember how at the end of that you need to have that time to retreat and re rest and you might need to have longer periods of sleep there. You might need to have times where you really focus on your, um, like your sleep, your recovery, um, your own self, like self-care could be something that wood element people might forget to do if they don't plan it in. Um, and so those, those, that, that having that growth for like, you know, think about when plants emerge. It's like there was nothing there. You put the seed in the ground and you're like, as soon as that plant comes out, it grows really quick. And that's the power of wood. It's like this, this movement and this growth and this spurt. And so you're harnessing that. And it doesn't mean you can't be productive all year long, but you can't work at that in high intensity for a very long time. Otherwise, what will happen is a person will get, um, I don't like to use the word burnout, but <laughs> they can be get a burnout. Um, but they certainly need to be nourished by water, right? So these things like that are still, that are meditative, um, even the reflection, looking at the water, um, like being around nature, um, the th different things nourish people in different ways, yoga, um, still types of exercises. Wood element people tend to, tend to be, in the, if they're healthy, they tend to be drawn to very um, intense exercise because they like to be moving, um, they like that intensity. They're the types of people that are probably filling up the gym, the 24-hour gym at 11 p.m. at night, right? I always drive past those and I'm like, who is there? <laughs> right? why, are, why are there people there at 11, 11 p.m.? Um, and so that these people, you know, tend to be drawn to that. The detriment of exercising too much can be that you sweat too much and then you become too woody and sticky. You become too dry and your tendons can get dry. So the wood relates to tendons, it relates to blood, um, and so sleep is super important. So what I would encourage you if you're a wood element person is to um, do all the stuff you want to do in a day. Try to do something that would help you focus first thing in the morning if you're not doing that already. But have plenty of sleep. Like allow yourself to have that time of yin and that water because sleep is a water time and that's super important. If your sleep isn't good, then that would be something I'd be looking at um, getting like help with. Like, you know, that's what acupuncturists and Chinese herbalists are um, you know, primarily concerned with is the basic f fundamentals of, of health. It's one of those is sleep, the other one's digestion. So going and seeing a herbalist or an acupuncturist or another practitioner to help you with your sleep, if that's out of balance, because then once that is working, so wood element people can be very highly effective all year long. If they have plenty of sleep, they have enough sleep, they have their eight hours of sleep. You know, it's a misconception when you see people that are very busy doing a lot of stuff. And you think, oh, they don't get any sleep. They just use the waking hours very productively, but they have proper sleep and they have good sleep. So they're the main things that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, so if you've gotten to the end, <laughs> congratulations. Um, make sure you click that subscribe and that like button. Um, if you haven't already, leave me a comment in the comments below. I love reading people's comments. 
Um, it really encourages me to make these videos. If this has touched base with you, if you're a wood element type of person or you know a wood element type of person, um, pop in the comments below or just um, tell me you hate me. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, you can check out our Instagram and our Facebook page if you haven't already. If you're um, a TikToker, <laughs> we have a TikTok as well. Um, so I put little clips on those places so you can share them with family and friends. There's also an audio version of this podcast, so welcome to all the people. It's a bit late now <laughs> to welcome you, but um, if you're listening by audio, welcome to the channel, to the podcast. And um, I look forward to seeing you again or listening, listening in with you. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you again or being in your ears um, on the next video. So thank you very much. Have a great day.